lie about his life that we've all felt. He felt the strength of the pressing in upon by the fear of death that we all felt. For that death that was manifested in his body was telling him through a loudspeaker, you lack life, buddy. You don't have life. You're dying. What are you going to do? That's what we felt. We wonder why we find the works of the flesh manifesting in our life. It's because in some area we think we lack what we need for life. In some area we hear some word telling us we don't have life and we're dying. And so then we spring into action to do something about it. To bring us peace. To bring us comfort. To bring us joy. To bring us happiness. When I was busy as a drug addict, man, I wasn't getting high for any other reason than to try to bring myself happiness. I was depressed. And so the depression told me I lacked what I needed for life. And because I didn't know the truth the way I know it now, I sprung into action to give myself life. I took the drug so I could have happiness. See how that produced the works of the flesh? I was depressed. I was sad. I had a wrong view and opinion of myself. And what that said to me was, Greg, you lack what you need for life. What are you going to do? And from that foundation, I, I became afraid. Oh my gosh, it's true, I do lack what I need for life. And then I went to try to get it. You see, Jesus heard the pressing in upon him that same word. He felt the fear coming against him, telling him he didn't have life. And he felt that word saying, what are you going to do? You're not the son. God's abandoned you. You don't have life. What are you going to do? See, he felt that. That's how he can understand why a person would be in bondage to the works of the flesh. That's why you can understand why a person can find themselves in bondage to sin. 